talking about Avatar from a marine biologist perspective. If you haven't seen this movie already, this is your sign to go see it because the effects and the CGI and like the water scenes with all the animals and even the avatars and the humans, just freaking wild. It literally reminded me again of why I first got involved in like ocean conservation and marine biology in the first place. I wanted to talk about it because there's this scene in there that is pretty traumatic and pretty graphic. And I'm not gonna like give anything away, so don't worry about that. But basically it's the main hunting scene. So if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But it was just so realistic because many different types of marine mammals and other species were hunted in very similar ways to that. Throughout humanity's history, big commercial whaling in the 20th century is estimated to have removed almost 3 million whales and other cetaceans from the oceans. That number is astronomical and is still to this day one of the largest biomass reductions of any animal by humans. It drove multiple species to the brink of extinction all over the planet and they're still recovering to this day. In every scene in Avatar that's underwater, you see like so much life and creatures and just coexistence happening in the wild. And I think many people forget that that's actually how we could also interact with our oceans too. If you've ever gotten the chance to experience a marine protected area or reserves around the world, you've probably realized that those areas are a lot more wild than other parts of the ocean. And that's why the world needs more marine biologists just like James Cameron and myself. Working with conservation and animals at all ecosystems. That way, all of our oceans can be more wild, just like they are in the movie Avatar. That's what I want. Isn't that what you want?